use logarithm laws to expand each expression. So when we are talking about expanding a logarithmic expression, we mean let's write this as as many logarithms as we can, really. So here I've got log base 3 of 5 times x. So when we're multiplying inside a logarithm, we have a logarithm law that says we can split that up into addition of the individual logarithms. So we have log base 3 of 5 and then plus log base 3 of x. So that's our expanded form. In uh, part b, we have here log base 4 of x to the fifth times y to the third. So we've got two things going on here. We've got multiplication, and then we've got exponents on each of those. So we're going to start by breaking up this multiplication. Okay. So my logarithm law says I can break that up as uh, logarithm of the first factor plus the logarithm of the second factor. My next rule says that I can take these exponents and put them out in front of the logarithms. And so I get a 5 log base 4 of x plus 3 log base 4 of y. And that's my expanded form. And uh, for part C, I've got natural log of a squared times b cubed over the fifth root of c. The very first thing I want to do here is I don't like seeing roots. I want to see uh, that in terms of exponents. Okay, So I can write this as natural log of a squared times b cubed over uh, c to the one-fifth. And now I can use my, my laws. Uh, first thing I've got to deal with here is I've got this thing on top divided by something on the bottom. So division can split up to be subtraction between the individual logarithms. So I've got the natural log of the numerator and then minus the natural log of the denominator. Then in this lo first logarithm here, I've got a product inside. So that can split uh, into a sum of two logarithms. So I've got a natural log of a squared plus the natural log of b cubed and then minus the natural log of the c to the one-fifth. Now, I've got exponents in here. And exponents can come out in front of the logarithms. So, oops, so we can just take each of those out and uh, we get 2 natural log of a plus 3 natural log of b minus 1 fifth natural log of c. And there is my fully expanded form of that logarithmic expression.